Hey everyone, in today's video, we're diving into Quen Image Edit, a model that's built on the massive 20 billion Quen Image model, and it specializes in both high level creativity and fine grained control. You can do everything from high level changes, like transforming an entire photo into an anime style, to ultra fine edits, like swapping a single word on a sign or removing a stray hair without messing up the rest of the image. What's also interesting is its unique ability to edit text both in English and Chinese while preserving the original font, style, and layout. I'm not sure if being able to write a prompt in Chinese is useful here, but it is an interesting feature for this model. I've also created a Rumpa template for Quen Image Edit, so if you're not able to run this locally, you also have a cloud option here. From what I'm testing, in order to run the full non-quantized version of the model, you need at least 16GB of VRAM. For the Rumpa template, I recommend using either the RTX 3090 or above. I'm gonna open up my Rumpa template and then start up the container and then drag and drop the Quen image edit workflow. I'm just going to explain briefly what each model does. For the model download links, you can also find it in the node on the left side here. You'll be directed to the Hugging Face repo to download the models. First is the unit loader, which is the main model for the Quen image edit. This is the main diffusion model that actually performs the edit in latent space. We also use the LoRa model called the Quen image lightning 8 steps v1.0. The LoRa is set to 0.6 strength. This LoRa model helps the model run much faster with 8 steps by not losing the quality that the original Quent model has. For the text encoding, which is for prompt understanding, we're using the Quent 2.5 7 billion FP8 scaled model. This turns my prompt into conditioning vectors that the model can follow for the edit. And lastly, we're using the Quent V model. This V model will later decode the edited latent space back into an image. You might also see the flux context image scale. This node doesn't really incorporate any flux context functionality, but uses just the resize functionality for a friendly working size. Another important Quen image edit node is the text encode Quen image edit. If you don't have access to this node, that means you don't have your comfy UI to be updated to the latest version. So go to the comfy UI folder and then click the update comfy UI .bat to update your program to the latest version. Let's now run some testing to see what kind of results we get. First, I'm going to modify this original image to add sunglasses to this female's face. I'm going to add the prompt, add a sunglasses to her face, keeping the original style consistent. You can see that the original image is kept consistent and the sunglasses is added to her face. Although the sunglasses does not match the image perfectly, but it does get the job done. And this is another result of me putting the same prompt on my newly created consistent character trained on a 12.2 model. You can see the new sunglasses added from the original image, and it does seem to understand the prompt pretty well. But in terms of the realism of the sunglasses, I don't think it matches the original image style perfectly well. I'm also going to try changing the clothes of my AI influencer. So for the prompt, I put, put a leather jacket on her, keeping the original style consistent. The consistency of the image is pretty good, but if you do look closely, I do lose a little bit of a realism on the skin, but it does get the job done in terms of understanding the prompt and putting a leather jacket on my character. I've also wanted to try testing an image of an animal, and I said change the color of the animal to purple, and this is the result that I got. I also wanted to try removing an object from my AI character, and I tried saying remove the earring on her, keeping the original style consistent. However, the model changed the overall style of the image, and it really altered the consistency of the facial details of my character. I've run into this issue for the Quen image edit model, where the model changes the the overall style of the image, even though I said keep the original style consistent in the prompt. The next test that I tried is changing the text of a realistic image. I have my realistic character holding a sign, subscribe to AI Robust. I'm going to change the text to don't subscribe. For the prompt, I said change the text to don't subscribe, keeping the original style consistent. And the model did a really good job of maintaining the text style and changing the correct text. I've also tried changing it to a Ghibli style, and this is the result that I got. Comparing this to Flux Context, I do see that Quen Edit does a much better job in terms of anime style edits. 
And this is another image that I tried changing it to an anime style. For the next test, I wanted to change the background of the image generator through the 1.2.2 Instagirl workflow. And this is the result that I got. I like the fact that the overall consistency of the image is maintained. The background is changed to the beach as per my prompt, but it is not as realistic as the original image. Once again, I tried changing the background of the image, but the consistency of the image is not maintained. I see that it sometimes fixes it when I regenerate the image, but I encounter a case a lot when the realism of the image is not maintained. I've also wanted to try changing the text of a movie poster. I asked Quen Model to change the Superman text into Batman, and in the beginning, it changes to Bayman, but on the second run, it got the job done properly. I like that the overall consistency of the text is maintained and the text is changed properly. I also tried changing the low resolution movie poster of your name. I wanted to change your name to my name. And on the first run, it didn't really do a proper job. But on the second run, it did get the job done. It did remove a small text that was originally there, but the overall consistency of the text is maintained properly. I've also tried removing a girl from the image. And on the first run, I was disappointed by the result where the image consistency is not maintained. But on the second run, it did get the job done when I changed the prompt to erase instead of remove. And the overall style is consistent. Testing Quen image edit compared to Flux context. I think Quen image edit does a much better job in terms of text modification and maybe understanding the prompt. But in terms of realistic photo edit, I don't see it as a huge improvement to Flux Context, as sometimes it destroys the overall realism of the original image. I don't see Quen Image Edit as making Flux Context totally obsolete, but they serve different purposes and they are strong in different areas. Although this was a very simple test of Quen Image Edit, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You can find the workflow for free in the description below and also the RunPod template for you to test on the cloud. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll be back with more AI contents. Thanks for watching.